Meantime, a comedic icon has passed away. St. Paul native Louis Anderson was best known for his stand-up, and he was a pioneer on the local comedy scene. Louis was a frequent guest on the Jason Show as well as the old Fox 9 buzz. Our Fox 9's Rob Olson joins us, and Rob, Louis' picture still hangs in the hallway here at Fox 9. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you that in a second. As you mentioned, Louis was often on the Jason show here at Channel 9, and the executive producer says, you know, we didn't really book him as much as that he would email us when he was in town, and we'd say, yeah, great, come, come on over. And, and that's kind of what a lot of people say. He was often here, often making himself available, uh, very much a, a mentor to so many people. And, yeah, there's that picture that you mentioned, uh, the place where the uh, audience walks here. And very much, though, the originator of comedy in Minnesota. Outside of L.A. and New York, stand-up comedy didn't really exist. Patrick Strait literally wrote yeah. the book about stand-up comedy in the Twin Cities called A Funny Thing About Minnesota, and Louis Anderson is a major player. They just were a group of young guys who, who they knew they wanted to make people laugh, and they weren't really sure what else you did, but they, they figured it out. What a beautiful day, wasn't it? Ah, oh, I almost went for a walk. Anderson's self-deprecating stand-up was often centered around his St. Paul childhood as one of 11 kids with a cold father, but tight with his mother. And that's where the big bucks start rolling in. His star rose quickly in the 80s. Movies and more shows would follow, most recently playing a version of his mother on the FX show Baskets, winning an Emmy in 2016. Mom! We did it! Living in Vegas, he frequently returned to Minnesota and constantly, Patrick says, kept in touch with everybody. Two Christmases ago, he called and he got my voicemail and he left a whole recording of himself reading the night before Christmas on Christmas Eve on my voicemail. These are just the things that Louie did because, you know, he thought it was fun and he knew I had kids and I think he thought it would be fun to, to read it for them. The great thing about Louie was some comedians will get famous and never look back to help out people behind them. Louie wasn't like that. He gave countless opportunities for many comics that I know and love. Wendy Mayberry opened for Louie about a dozen times before the pandemic, one of many local comedians he was known to mentor. Also, I used to call him my comedy fairy godfather because he would like come in with a magic wand when it seemed like the story wasn't going right and make everything a little bit brighter. And that's, I think, what we will all be very much missing. Yeah, I talked to her. She was at the airport on her way to Phoenix for a, uh, a comedy show there. She said there's so many comedians like that, young, up-and-coming comedians that he would really mentor and try to help. And he didn't care if they were funnier than him or became bigger than him. And they said that's what a lot of people don't see is the fact that he didn't have that sort of ego. He just loved comedy. He loved being part of the pioneers here, and he loved helping it continue here. Back to you. All right, Rob, thank you. What I think is so interesting is that he has fans across all generations. Oh, he does. That's how big of an impact. People just, they had. don't, they loved his comedy, but they also loved him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And reaction to Anderson's death pouring in from Hollywood and beyond. Comedian Kathy Griffin writing, no one in comedy did what he did. Gilbert Gottfried sharing this touching photo of Anderson and fellow comedian Bob Saget with the caption, both good friends that will be missed. Governor Walls says Louis was a pioneer in comedy who spent his life bringing humor and laughter into our world. And actor Wesley Snipes says another great one goes home.